going to get up to today in the shed. So what is the Shelly? And what are we going to do with it? What comes with the Shelly? Well, the Shelly comes with a dim-mountable Internet of Things device, which will measure your current going out and coming in from your electrical provider. It will also it also supplies an extra connection, which is on, uh, if you look at this very closely, uh, on one and zero, one is power and zero, well, on the one you'll need to put a circuit breaker. And on the zero, it's a quick relay. It can't use a lot of power, but it's useful for a relay of some description for switching things on and off, if you need to use it. Now, the other ones are your lives, so your A, B and C are the live phases if you're using three phases. In my country it's only two phases so I'm going to put this in and I'm going to measure two of the phases. One is my, my soul and the other one is the feed in coming in. Hi guys, my dogs want to go through so I'll just Give you a quick look at my dogs doing their thing. Go on, guys. Out you go. Alright, I've got one more dog, but I don't know where she's gone. We'll leave that at the moment. Okay, so we've got three live circuits coming in. So you've got to add three live circuits, and you've got to put a circuit breaker on the other side of it. So it doesn't use much. You could get away with a 5 amp circuit breaker on this, or even a 10 amp circuit breaker. Now, it's overkill with a 10 amp, but if you're going to have a fire with this, well, this has got safety stuff and... Okay. Sorry about this. No, Bess. Off you go. There you go. So you've got your live one, two, and three. So you've got to hook up three red lives in Australia. I'm not sure what you use. You might use white in America. I'm not sure. And, but we use um, black for the neutral here. I'm not sure what you're using for your neutral. Um, this will work on 110 to 1240. So you can use it on 110 as well as 240 for this device. And on the other side, we plug in all our coils. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna get my electrician mate to do it. Uh, but only because of compliance here. So if I wanted to check or monitor line one, on here you've got a K and an L. So K on the letter, A, B, C. And from that, we can hook that up to, undo that, I hook it up to a wire of some description. So here, on my active, I can just hook it up onto here. Now, saying that, look how little room I have inside this box. So, I might have to get another box in the main one to run some wires through and have a box like, like, uh, have a box like this other one here so I've got room. I also need to bring in a neutral from the neutral bar that will be at the top to the unit or my electrician will and each one will be has this thing is Wi-Fi so you can actually and it's got a button on the front I believe there's a button there um, so It'll come up as its own Wi-Fi device and you can add it to your network. It works with Home Assistant. It works with Node Red. Um, Node Red's, I used to do a bit of stuff with that a long, long time ago. So if you look back into my catalog of videos, you'll see Node Red there. So this will give me the reading of the power going out and coming in. And technically, it will tell me when my solar has stopped feeding to the grid. Now, 
if that tells me that, could I actually add another one of these devices to switch off the power coming in from, say, our P1 or P2, both of them, switch them off and bring the power from the shed up to the house. Not, not while I've got my tariff, but maybe later when the tariff uh, no longer exists for me, I could do that to switch to my battery energy during the night, which would be very handy uh, from the shed, considering the shed is connected to that circuit breaker house and it's running 50, 15 amp power line, 15 amp power back to the, well, to here, but I can reverse it back up to there and take my power from here to there for the night. So I could use it for my night tariff. That's an idea. Uh, if you get any, got any good ideas for switching it off or running a script, please leave me a comment below. I'm not a script script kid. I don't do scripts. I have done some in the past, but they've been very badly, badly written. It'd be awesome if you guys that know more than I do to leave the scripts below. Um, then we could control everything for when we needed to provide extra power to the system after our tariff is reduced and after the electrician has put this into the system. Um, I'll plug some wires into this and I'll come back to you and show it to you. Some good luck. I've got a roll of this. So this should be long enough to feed through so I can make it nice and long. And I'll go up to my switchboard now quickly and measure how long I'm going to make these, these lines. I don't want to waste this stuff. The methods you can do are these. These methods here. So we'll try and zoom in on them and the information is underneath so hopefully i'll be able to zoom into that as well for you there's different methods for different sorts of things so the one on this side here uh, get an electrician to fit it don't do it yourself um the electrician will come along and finish it off but here's me final workout this is a 10 amp fuse, overrated for this job, but it'll do the job. Switch it off. Uh, all your wires are hooked in. As per if you've got a three phase system, I'm going to use mine, my third phase to monitor the shed. And there's your neutral, which goes in the front one. All your um, coils will go into the back. A will go into A, B will go into B, and so on and just clamp them around the wires and this will start so the maximum this actually can take is 120 amps at 230 volts AC the maximum that the load, the relay load will take which is the far connection that we're not using is 10 amps I don't know whether that's true or not but I'd, it's up to you if you want to use it Operational range outdoors is 50 meters, indoors is 30 meters. Using this system just to monitor, that's fine. You can get them for free in Australia, uh, but they only measure the light source coming out of the actual uh, front of the smart meter. So that's about it. Uh, we will go through this once I get it installed and yeah we'll start playing with it um, and we'll go through my home assistant install script and a couple other things i've been doing along the side that's why i haven't been doing much lately i've been playing with different servers to see what i want to use to monitor my power and to get more accurate uh, charts and graphs from it um, I haven't gone that far yet. I probably need help. So if you are out there and you know what you're doing, you probably know more than me. So leave a comment below. Give me some ideas uh, what to run, what you, you're running at home that uh, makes you go, wow, that's awesome. And I will try 
can use that maybe. Uh, anyway, that's it for this video and nice to catch up with everyone. Hope you're having a great day and catch you on the next one.